So, Whitney, what painful truth are you talking about? Um... Well, I was just thinking about Teresa. I was thinking about Teresa and everything that she's been going through, you know? Uh, and the baby whose life was saved. I mean, can you imagine how awful it would be for her to one day find out that her brother's life was given so that she could live? The guilt that she would feel, the pressure to be the perfect child, you know, to justify her own existence. That's the painful truth that I was talking about. You amaze me. You know, I was thinking of other people. Well, listen, I'm sure that Gwen and Ethan are gonna do whatever they can to protect their child. Because I think you're right, I think sometimes the truth is too painful, you know? Sometimes things are just better left unsaid. Yeah, 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 sometimes they are. Yeah. But, look, you don't have to worry about any of that right now. What you have to do is get dressed and meet me in the kitchen for breakfast, okay? Okay? Mm-hmm. I'll see you down there. Well, I hope you meant what you said, Fox. About the truth being better left unsaid, because the truth about who my baby's real father is is definitely best kept unknown. Whitney, don't take this the wrong way. I'm thrilled that you and Fox are together. But you've been here every night. I mean, you haven't been home at all. Don't you want to? Well, honestly, it really doesn't feel like I have a home anymore anyway. That's right, I heard about your parents splitting up. I'm sorry, it must have been very hard. You know, you were married to Julian, of course. <laughs> I mean, did you have any idea there was anything going on between him and my mother? Well, let's just say when Julian and I were together, um, I always suspected there was someone else in his heart. <laughs> so it didn't just destroy my parents' marriage, it destroyed yours as well. <sighs> Whatever Julian's feelings were for your mother, uh, that's not why our marriage failed. The truth is, I was in love with Sam. <laughs> I fell in love with him when we were teenagers, and I never stopped loving him. Although, in the beginning, I did try to love Julian. Yeah, but he's like cheating on you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Your father's in infidelities did hurt. But I'm at a place where I can accept equal responsibility for the disaster that was our marriage. By trying to pass Ethan off as Julian's son, I hurt him every bit as much as he hurt me. That was a terrible, terrible mistake. <laughs> Although I honestly thought at the time I was doing the best thing for everyone, for me, for Julian, for Sam, and especially for Ethan. You know, I thought I was protecting him from the stigma of being illegitimate by passing him off as Julian's. I was so positive it was the perfect solution. I thought I was giving my baby, my unborn child, a, a chance at a better life, a life without people whispering and staring. I mean, he was going to be a crane, after all, with all of the privileges. But passing my son off as another man's child was the worst thing I could do for all of us. And I don't think that uh, any of us will ever really fully recover from it. It was wrong to deceive Julian all those years, letting him think that Ethan was his child. And it was wrong to deny Sam his son. But the person I hurt the most was Ethan, the one person I was trying to protect. But you know what? I gotta say, Ethan has always seemed so happy, you know, and successful. So whatever he went through later had to have been better than growing up with people gossiping about him. That's what I thought, too. But I was wrong. Ethan was raised as Alistair's firstborn grandson. You know, the crane heir. From birth, he was groomed to take over that empire, and he wanted to. And then when the truth came out, he lost everything. I mean, not only what he thought was his birthright, but his identity. I, in an instant, everything he was was taken away from him. And now, it seems that neither one of your sons is gonna take over at Crane Industries, as Ethan's not really family and fathers disown me. Julian had no right to do that. I mean, Ethan may not be his son, but you certainly are. And for you to be cheated out of your birthright, it's, it's wrong. Yeah, well, especially now that he, he plans on giving everything to his bastard son, Chad. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. So 
a done deal, though, you know? I mean, I'm out. I get nothing. Chad gets everything. Oh, no. I am not going to sit by and let that conniving bastard Chad Harris rob you of what's rightfully yours. Okay, don't talk that way about him. Chad is a good man. Yeah, I don't understand. How can you sit there and defend Chad when you know that he, he out and out stole my position at Crane Industries? Well, th that's not what I'm doing. Look, all I'm saying is that Chad has always been a good guy. And I just can't imagine that he would intentionally steal the Crane Empire from you. He's just not like that. It must have just happened that way. Things like that don't just happen. He knew exactly what he was doing. He saw a rift between me and my father, and he jumped on it. He took advantage of it. Fox, Chad is Whitney's half-brother. Well, I know that, Mom. He's mine, too, but I'd rather forget about it. The point is, I don't think she wants us to speak ill of him. And I think we should respect that. And I am sorry if I offended you, No, Whitney. no, please. It's, it's okay. Really, it's fine. Well, if we're all finished, I think I'll, I'll clean up. I'll help you. You know what I really need help with? Is hanging all this Indian corn on all the doors at the B&B and getting all the rooms ready for the guests. We are almost completely booked for Thanksgiving week. Is that right? You got it. You really love running that place, don't you? Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> if my sorority sisters could see me now, they would never believe that Princess Ivy would one day find happiness as an innkeeper. <laughs> but sharing the responsibility with Sam, I, I love it. Listen, uh, Whitney, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I was out of line about Chad. I, I'm sorry. I apologize. No, no, no. Forget it. It's okay. See you later. Mm -hmm. Fox. Yo. Could you also take out that trash? Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, no problem. I can, uh, get out the trash. <laughs>